So, here I am in the cafe of my favourite cinema, the Phoenix in East Finchley, attempting in a very low-tech way to plough my way through the hundreds of responses that we got to a blog I published a couple of weeks ago, saying, OK, you've told me who you think is the best actor in the worst movie. Now let me know who you think is the worst actor in the best movie. Over 300 responses to that. Here are just a few of them. So we start off with the two pack leaders. Two names turned up time and time again. This from Chris Quickfall. The worst performance in a good movie has to be Andy McDowell in Four Weddings and a Funeral. Truly excruciating acting. It's mind-boggling how the filmmakers apparently didn't notice. As I'm sure you all know, um, the line that Andy McDowell delivers at the end of Four Weddings and a Funeral, Is It Raining? I Hadn't Noticed, was a couple of years ago voted the worst line in movies ever. And I still think to this day that there's nothing wrong with the line. It's the way in which the line is delivered. And it's not only Four Weddings. This, later on, from Noctivagus, Noctivagus, Andy McDowell in the otherwise wonderful Greystoke, The Legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes, a performance that is a livid wart on the nose of that fine film. The other name that came up time and time again, of course, well, here's just one example from Max Marriott. The absolutely worst performance in the best film I've seen is perhaps Keanu Reeves in Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. It's pretty hard for me to say this, as Coppola's adaptation of the Bram Stoker novel is one of my all-time favourite films. However, his English accent seems forced his performance is as wooden as the stakes that he used in the film. Luckily, I love the film so much because the rest of the cast and the direction is so fantastic that Reeves merely blends into the background when actors like Anthony Hopkins and Gary Oldman stand aside him. Now, here's a particular favourite of mine. This is from Hojo101. It's got to be Orlando Bland in Kingdom of Heaven, a good film scuppered by a woefully miscast lead. Part of the problem is that he's surrounded by all these wonderful actors, David Thewlis, Liam Neeson, Brendan Gleeson, Ed Norton, and he's just completely out of his depth. We're expected to believe the man is a knight, but when I watch it, all he reminds me of is Prince Herbert, heir to the Swamp Castle in Monty Python's Holy Grail. I remember reviewing Kingdom of Heaven and writing pretty much the same thing, saying the biggest problem with that film was that despite Ridley Scott's extraordinary direction and the great epic sweep of the movie, that at the centre of it, there was meant to be a character who from the very beginning is looking into the void. And Orlando Bloom gives us a performance of somebody who's a bit cross that his cappuccino doesn't have enough froth on it. Now, here's one that may ruffle a few feathers. This is from Humac. Who match? Okay, I'm going to commit heresy. For me, the worst performance in a great film was Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. I thought he was truly dreadful. I don't buy the idea that it was all deliberate or that it was so bad that it was great. I still regard Brando as one of the finest actors of the 20th century. It's a dwindling number of people who hold that view, incidentally. But I just thought this performance was a huge letdown. I'm expecting to be metaphorically napalm now. Well, certainly not from me, as anyone who's seen Hearts of Darkness, the documentary about making Apocalypse Now, will know. Brando turned up late and unprepared for Apocalypse Now, and having spent so much time doing all that famous improvising, turned out he hadn't even read the Conrad novel. And believe me, it's a novella. It's, a, it's virtually a short story. There's very little preparation involved. I, for one, uh, have no problem with you choosing Marlon in Apocalypse Now as a spectacularly bad performance. Here's a couple more for Worst Actress. This is from I, Robin. I'm so glad you asked this question because I've always felt I have a really good answer to this. I've thought about it for years. Christopher Nolan has always been brave in his casting but always seems to get the best out of an actor or an actress. But one that landed face down, Katie Holmes in Batman Begins. And you weren't the only person to choose poor Katie in that film. This, however, I do take issue with. This is from Vidak Olovic. Hello, Vidak. I've been struggling with your new assignment, Dr. K. Why? Well, because of Shelley Duval. I have watched The Shining a million times now, and I still can't figure out if Shelley's performance was genius or just plain terrible. What do you think? Please give me an answer, good doctor, because I certainly can't. Vidak, it's genius. It's absolutely brilliant. It is, in fact, the heart and soul of that film. Jack Nicholson's performance, on the other hand, I'm not so sure about. Now, as I said, we had over 300 responses to this particular blog, so just one more, but you know, please read through the other responses yourself. There are so many that I can't deal with them all here. This I like from Right Flyer. I'm surprised nobody has mentioned Mark Hamill in the original Star Wars trilogy. Great films, I know Dr. K is going to object to this, but they are, but Hamill had all the charisma of a dead badger. I just want to say, actually, I don't think Mark Hamill is the problem with the Star Wars films. I don't think they're all terrible. I think The Empire Strikes Back is a half-decent movie. And I don't think that what problems they have are down to Mark Hamill. I think the problems they have are down to George Lucas. 
Now, while I was plowing through these hundreds of responses, somebody directed my attention to a website, Movies from Alternate Universe, which had very cleverly and intelligently taken modern movies and recast them, often with the classic Hollywood actors. And it got me thinking, OK, so you've given me hundreds of suggestions for people who are terrible in really good films. How would you make that situation better? So your homework for this week, recast your favourite movie. Tell me your ideal cast for a movie you really love.